on my way to my float therapy session right now. If you haven't heard of it, the description will be below. And I'm super excited about it. Now that I've gotten breakfast, it's time to go. All right guys, so here I am at Tampa Floats. Let's see how this goes. So you don't have to put effort into floating. No. Just float. Yeah. yeah, that's crazy. That was crazy. It was. I have to rinse the lotion and the oils off me so the machine won't get messed up. Here it is guys, my float therapy pod. Ooh, it looks so nice and so pretty and so relaxing. I can't wait to get right in there. Put the music on, I can turn the lights off when I get in there. It should be fairly nice. Wish me luck. Channel. Thanks so much for watching my little clip of my first float therapy session. I hope you guys enjoyed it. So before I get to the review, I would like to give a shout out to my husband for finding the Tampa floats for me. You're awesome. Love you. And a shout out to my brother-in-law for posting a picture of his float therapy session on Facebook. Thank you so much, Dejan. I really appreciate it because I would have never known about this awesomeness if it wasn't for you guys. Love you. Okay, so I want to start my review with how awesome it looked. Like, wasn't, wasn't the pool amazing? <laughs> it's so, um, what's the word I'm looking for? Serene, maybe? Yeah, I'm gonna go with serene. But uh, yeah, it's so serene. If I could just, I don't know. It was awesome to see. So you had to take a shower before you got in because I didn't want to damage the machine with oils. That's what that paper was. I signed my life away. I had to sign it away saying that I didn't have any lotions or oils. I think it said that I wasn't pregnant. Um, some other things. So just make sure you read everything before you sign it. Yeah. Um, so the next thing I'd like to talk about is how it felt in the pool. I was just floating there. Yeah, I don't know if that look, how it looks, but I was just floating. Like, no effort, nothing. It was awesome. Um, the pool's small. I mean, okay, so it's not small, but my feet could touch the bottom of the pool, which was weird. I really wish I didn't, mm, I, I couldn't touch, maybe I really couldn't touch the bottom. Not the bottom, like the end of the pool. No, I'm sorry. I couldn't, I didn't touch the bottom, but I did move a little bit to my right. And my foot would like feel the, feel the side of the pool. I'm like, oh, why can't I just, so I sort of kind of wish my floating would just be, um, would just be like structured. Like I didn't move at all around, but I don't know. Anyways, yeah. So I wish I didn't move around. I wish I had just like a little thing that held me in place. Yeah held me in place but um that wasn't really a big deal it did take me a while to get to sleep because I was just like this is weird um I think my mind was moving too much like a lot of uh the guy who explained it to me about the when before I got in the pool he said a lot of people feel anxious they're in their mind and he was like you seem cool you don't you don't you don't seem like you're gonna be that way but um I was a little bit in the beginning and then I just kind of let go he said the longer you're in there the long the um faster you let go and it happened. I did go to sleep. It was, it was weird. Um, I went to sleep. I didn't listen to music. He didn't recommend me listening to music. He said it's just better if you just like be with yourself, which was awesome. Um, I'm glad he recommended it. But you can hook my. I guess I could hook my cell phone up to the float therapy pod and listen to music. But I wasn't interested in that, so I just turned the lights out um, and just laid there. And that was it. <laughs> And then I fell asleep. So, oh, and when I laid there, okay, so as you're laying there, you, I eventually fell asleep and I was like, oh, before I got in the pot, he told me that these like little whirlpools are going to wake me up. I was like, okay, that sounds weird, but okay, I'm, I'm, I think I'll be fine. So when you close the um, hatch to the pod, it, the water's just calm. Like it stops moving completely. And then when you, when it's time for you to get out, there's these little swirls 
that you can like feel and hear. So you, I just got up, no problem. It was, it was a very calming way to wake me up. Um, if you are claustrophobic, do not do this because it's, it's not tiny, but it is if you're claustrophobic. Like if you don't like elevators, um, it's just weird being in a pod. It's like I'm in a spaceship or something, a little tiny spaceship pod, but yeah, so don't do it if you're claustrophobic. I mean, you can try it, but I don't, I don't think you would last because even I'm, I'm that close to I'm not claustrophobic, but it was like weird being in the pod for a long period of time. Like it was 90 minutes and I was like, hmm, I was thinking to myself, like, what am I going to do for 90 minutes just laying here? But as I said, I eventually went to sleep. So I think next time, and I'm pretty sure there'll be a next time, um, I think I'll just really not think about anything at all. Hopefully that'll be the way it is. Cause after I fell asleep, it went by so quick. Like I was like, oh, and then I was, I was like, oh, what happened? Am I done already? But the things I didn't like about it was the fact that I got so salty. <laughs> Everything was salty. My hair was salty. My, my arms were salty. My legs were salty. I mean, it was a thousand pounds of Epsom salt. So I guess I'm supposed to be salty, but I guess I could have took a shower afterwards, but I didn't. I went home and because either way, I could have took a shower. My hair still would have been salty and this would have happened. This would have happened. And my legs would have still been salty because even after I took a shower, when I got home, I was still salty. Like I had to take another shower, rewash my hair. It was a lot of work to get all that salt off. So that was the only thing I didn't really like about it. Um... Other than that, it was great. So I, so I recommend that you do it. Oh, the other thing I wanted to mention, it's not like a massage. Like, it says that it's, a, it's like um, you lose your gravity, which you do. But I don't feel like my muscles felt any less sore like the next day. I think, like, immediately after, I think it helped me with my soreness. Like, I was just so relaxed. My muscles were relaxed. I don't know. But the next day, I still felt sort of kind of sore. Um, I think I still need to go get a regular full body massage because I love them. It's just a very peaceful, tranquil kind of thing. So, if you're looking for that, and you're looking for just rest, then please go find a float therapy establishment near you. Uh, my brother-in-law, he's in Seattle. I'm in Tampa. My husband's in Hawaii, and he found one there. So I'm sure there's one near you. At least I hope. It's probably, you know, side note. If I go more often, it will probably help my body. I'm going to look into that. But I think if the more often you go, the better your body will be. I think it's a more often kind of thing. But yeah, it was too much on my hair. My locks can't handle that kind of salt. So I won't be doing it anytime soon. I need my locks to mature first. But I do like the, I did like the experience. So I definitely recommend it. Okay, thank you so much for watching. God bless. <laughs> at my first, at my first, then please go find a float there. Um, what else? Um, a float therapy... All right, guys, thanks so much for coming back to my channel. If you like this video, please hit that like button. If you love this video, please hit that subscribe button. And if you have any questions or comments, please comment down below. I love to hear what you guys have to say. God bless.